How's it going everyone and welcome back to another Z Modeler tutorial. This one is going to be involving ULC and this is going to be the park pattern and the actual chase pattern. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what it looks like in Z Modeler. All you guys got to do is just set up your light and then you're going to have obviously the extra for the light. You don't technically have to do that. Um, I've seen a lot of ULC cars that you really can't toggle any lights off on the car because it's all all the extras are needed for actual ULC functions. But um, we we'll obviously have our light bar as an extra. And then we have basically just two patterns as two different extras. And I also want to preference, preference and show you guys that um, usually when I do extra lights like without ULC, I add a collision because the extras won't toggle. Um, I've noticed when using ULC, you want to not have an, uh, an extra collision um, for these. So there's no collision for three. There's no collision for 11. Um, and that's intentional because for some reason, you'll see like just doesn't work when you have a collision for the extras uh, for the lights. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but yeah. Um, and I also, um, I mean, literally it's just a scene dummy or up here. You see dummy helper. All you do is click it. Let's name this um extra underscore five and then all you gotta do is just come up here have l0 checked and then convert to compound and then boom and that's all you're gonna just throw your lights inside of um just delete that yep so that's all you guys gotta do um and these are just you know this one is just back and forth pattern and the other one is back and forth and a little bit of like a chase pattern um and that's all you really do for um you'll see for park pattern and a chase pattern um, and obviously you can have different stages of lighting with like um, traffic advisories um, but I want to make a whole individual video just on that simply because I personally have not done that yet but um, we'll leave that for a different day let's go ahead and hop into the ULC configure and uh, set all this up so if you guys have not watched the ULC setting up tutorial I recommend you guys watch that first but we'll quickly just go over how you kind of set this up obviously you're going to have your car and you're going to have a ulc.lua all you got to do to create this is just right click click new and just do text document and then rename it to ulc.lua it's really that simple um and then what is contained in here is just going to be what we're going to be doing here on this uh, url which is the ulc um, generator um but that what we do in here we paste it in here but the most important thing you guys need to notice is the name right here this needs to match the folder name, the model name, and what um, the name is inside of the actual ULC script. So we go to the script config and we scroll down. We will see that we have our car here and the slick top version as well. But we're only going to be dealing with the hard top today. Um, so that is important. And like I said, on top of that, if you also notice the folder name is the same for the car. And so is the uh, streaming files, so the YFT and the YTDs. And uh, all the meta files, same thing, obviously. But they all need a match. Um, as far as I know, I, I believe it's just a folder name, but I just make it all the same, so it's just stream, streamlined. Um, now, this link is obviously on the post. All we got to do is type in our name, so ULC20 FPIU. And that, you see it generates right here. Perfect. And again, this is what we're going to be copying. It's just a giant copy button. You put that in the um, cars ulc.lua folder or file, and it's that easy. But we're dealing with um, cruise lights. Or not cruise lights, park patterns and chase patterns. My bad. Um, so we're going to need a button. And this button is going to just be stage one. That's it. And we're going to have that. Key is one, which says this as stage one, same as extra one, or not extra one. This needs to be stage one. The key needs to correlate to what stage it is. So um, key one is stage one. Um, and then this is where you would go and turn on any extras. So we're gonna wanna turn on our main pattern as stage one, which is going to be extra 11. So if we just go over here and set this to extra 11, we're done. That's all we need to do. And then you can toggle this if you want to repair the car for some reason when you toggle the stage on. I obviously would recommend against that, but 
you can see we have our extra 11 turned on and that is it now if we go down to our default stages what this basically does is if we actually read right here it says it will set the state of the buttons that were configured above whenever the emergency lights is activated so basically this means whenever the lights are turned on stage one immediately kicks on so we obviously want to separate our chase pattern from our park pattern and the way to do that is to obviously have them as extras but then come in here because technically those extras are me toggling on and off and you need to go in here and basically set that the chase pattern is the default pattern so which would be key one or stage one so basically now we have this set up so that when you hit q even if extra um 11 is off or stage one is off in the extra list um normally it just wouldn't turn on now by doing this we have enabled it to the point where when you hit q it will kick on extra 11 by toggling stage one and so on um and that's also works you know if you need to set up anything else um you have any more park patterns on different lights you would just add to this and do stage two stage three and yada yada but you can also see you can just you know click on linked extras and that will also do it um if we go down to our park extras these are the actual park lights so again our drive extras and i would like to point this out specifically um you might have to play with this but i noticed that you see this is drive extra so drive extras will be our chase pattern we would want to toggle extra 11. we go back into our car we see our park pattern is actually extra three so then we go to park extras these extras will be enabled when the vehicle is parked and disabled when it is driving so we'd put three for the park extras and then obviously you have the sync which you would do um, once you create more models you just have to edit your old um, ulc file but nothing too crazy um, i would just do it manually so you don't have to like set all this back up or because i don't think you can copy and paste your old ulc file in here which i think he should add as a feature anyways um what i've noticed personally i don't know if this is for every model maybe it's a bug i don't know maybe i did something wrong who knows i'm not perfect um when the car would stop for some reason the um the park extras would actually enable when the car was driving so when i did it this obviously is the correct way as far as the config goes but i've noticed that it was actually flipped so try both ways um see which one works either either one's gonna work um just gotta figure out which one but for me personally um, i found that it was for some reason reversed so the park extras would actually be the chase one and the drive extras would actually be the park one don't know why i don't know but all you would do um this is it basically fully completed um and then you can obviously turn this on too i think this did something but i just you know it toggles yeah toggle this we'll we'll do this um that might not be important i don't think it is okay yeah it is make sure to toggle on stages in stage one my bad um but all you would do is copy this and go to the usc folder and open it up i usually like i like to use visual studio code i don't know why it's a lot better than uh the other one and all you would do is copy all this and paste it and that's it and as you can see our config from what we just created and the one we just had previously is almost identical so you can see we have our stage stage one right here we got the key which actually i put it, i put it wrong but we want it to be stage one um on my car but we already use key one and two so stage three um obviously the name is different but it's correlated in the in the config down here as you can see default stage let me this up right here you can see default stages enables key three and it says use default as you can see and we can see down here we have our stage one right there and it's all the same so that is how you do um park patterns with chase patterns um and like i said you know try flipping these and see if they work um if you guys have any questions obviously if you join the discord there's a private chat with me and all the other people that have the patreon and uh feel free to ask if you guys have any questions this is kind of complicated and kind of fidgety but once you get the hang of it it's super easy 
All right, guys, we are in game. I go ahead and toggle off my cruise lights. We can see if we hit Q, our park pattern is working, as you guys can see. And then we start driving. Boom. It goes to the chase pattern. And then as soon as we stop, park pattern. And again, um, I've heard from a lot of people they want kind of the park pattern all the way around on the entire car. Um, I didn't do that because I'm so used to having everything toggleable off um, through the extras, like the push bar, the antennas, the pillar lights, the license plate lights. Um, I'm so accustomed to that that um, I'm not really a fan of taking away extras um, that can toggle off lights to make space for ULC features, just my personal opinion. Um, I don't like it. Um, but that is how you guys do chase patterns and park patterns. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I also want to point out, if you look, I hit Q and start, well, let, let's start driving. And I'm going to hit Q. You'll see that stage one is already lit up green. Like it's already ready to go. And that's what that default stage does. Um, that's the point of it. You can see when we go into our park pattern, it disables stage one. And that's through the, um, uh, the uh, arc extra feature on the ULC generator um, toggling each extra off so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one peace out